Hey guys, this is Shrivaya Jaiswal and welcome back to my channel. This is my second video and today's video is all about Glow Glam Smoky Eye Effect as you can see here. And uh, so you can carry this look anywhere like you just got to play with your colors, your highlighters, your dresses, your the way you carry the most importantly the attitude the way you carry it. So just to get this look continue watching the video. Yeah, so to begin with here I'm first taking the paper tips and I'm going to place it under my eye. Yeah, there you go. So now for my eyes, I'm going to prepare my eyes with the concealer from Carrier and the shade 5 for 5 for 2 as you can see here. And I'm just going to place it all over my eyelid. Brian Lips. So if you don't have a brush, there is no need to worry, even you can use your fingertips. should last for the it should give you a nice poppy kind of a look and as we are going to go with the deeper and dark color of shades this is quite well -made. taking your freedom professional palette in the shade pro 12 leaf floxy this is also a dark store product you as you can see they have some amazing shades here now I'm going to use this shade for my eyes I'm just going to take a flat brush like that this is the, I'm using this from Kylie Cosmetic I don't know the exact number right here and uh, I'm just going to take this deeper brown eyeshadow in over here like in a coffee color like dust of the extras and slap facing all over my eye crease if you are placing eye shades no matter if no matter like no need to worry if there are fall off on your face because we have not yet prepared our face for any makeup or anything so even we can't remove it off so no need to worry about it that if you are doing your eye color and then the extras is extra are falling off on your cheeks and your nose no need to worry at all you just keep on focusing on your blending thing so I'm just going to blend it all over my crease like really 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 dark I really want the you know the intense look so I'm making it a bit darker complexion I'm just placing it in a darker finish and then now moving on to black I'm again taking a flat brush like this you can see here and I'm taking the black color right here I'm going to pack it all over my eyelid the same process just pick up the, as you can see just pick up the product dab the extras and start packing it on your eyelid within the crease line I'm not going above the crease line I'm just putting the black color under the crease like I have already put the transitional shade on in the crease line but I'm not placing the black color over the crease line I'm just get, like working it within and playing it within the crease line I can, as you can see you can see clear finish over here so that's what you have to do you really really got to do got to be very particular about this because Smoky Eye is all, all, all about drama and uh, intense. If you're not getting one, then it's a waste of doing that, you know. So, this is how it goes. And I'm just going to repacking 
the black eye shadow again just to until and unless i'm not satisfied with the black intense look you can see here and now again i'm going to take the previous brush which i have used for blending the brown eye shadow again i'm going to take the black brown eye shadow and again i'm going to blend it over here so that it shouldn't look patchy at all you can see this i'm just placing the brown color between the crease line and my lid just to give it a nice finish again i'm going to take it on and i'll do it on another side as well smoky eye is not about only black finish okay guys you really need to get this it's all about playing with colors like a homogeneous mixture of shades like it shouldn't be patchy it, sh it should be completely blended blended and like it's not rectified which color exactly you have been using so i'm again doing the same process on my another eye and again the black brush again the sorry the black brush even there is no need of black brush even you can use your fingertips as i'll show you i need to look at this you can even place it like that and blend it nicely again repacking and again reblending repacking reblending like you have and you just got to do this until you are not satisfied and you're not satisfied with the finish as simple as that as i really really want that dramatic kind of a look i am really putting in my efforts for this i'm just for, for now next i'm just going to take a round brush from real technique you just got to do is what you can take a transition shade again over here or you can even use i'm just going to dive in in both of these colors i'm just going to take this and i'm just going to blend all the product what if we have already placed here so just have a look have a close look to this smoky eyes one of a look which you can go with any any outfit like your indian western and uh, you can you can pair up that look with any kind of a look any any outfit like on any occasion it's just you got to uh, uh, you know contrast it with your lip colors your base your highlighters your blushes and the eyes are you can do it any like you can manage it with anything so basically this is my tutorial is only for uh, smoky eyes so that and it's it's just a key for your you know all over your look again i'm going to just take a black color over here and i'm just going to again give it a nice finish there you go for now as we are done with this i'm just going to get rid of the stapes as you can see this fall off here no worries at all the reason why we have not create not prepare our face was just this because whenever you do a uh, intense look like you are playing with more of colors more of a darker shades you really got to do not i prefer that's my personal opinion that you really do not go with your face preparation because there are ultimately fall offs over here so you can even prepare your face later on so i'm just going to get back when i'm back i have uh, cleaned like wiped like, all the uh, you know the fall off and i have prepared my face with uh, any moisturizer primed it and i have did my face off camera and uh, i have concealed foundation and i have just kept it for baking my eyeshadow uh for my concealer and i'm again going to take the same palette and we are yet to finish to give the final look to the eye and now again, again i'm going to take the uh, previous the first brush what we have what i have taken and then i'm going to go on with this um, uh, dark brown color coffee color over here and uh, like i'm to i'm going to smoke it under my eye like i'm just going to you really got to be very careful for this because you cannot afford any fall off now i have already placed some powder over here 
extra powder over so it can so that if even if there is any fall off i can dust it off quickly and i'm just you know smoking and placing it this dark brown color under my eye same i'm going to take do for the another as well then again i'm going to take this this black flat brush that i have used for packing my black eyeshadow on and i'm going to going on with this black eyeshadow here and i'm just going to give a nice smoky like like smoke it out to Like this is again a drugstore product and it's very easily available on Nykaa uh, or any cosmetic counters close to your place. And I'm just going to dive the brush inside and uh, take the product in a generous amount as you can see here. And I'm just going to go in with my waterline. Make sure the product should be in a generous amount because I'm going to tell you what you got to do with that. You really got to darken your waterline with a like a dark. There you go, and as you have seen the difference, like after darkening your waterline. Now what you got to do is just take this uh, this kind of brush, like what you call is a paddy brush, and you just got to take the tips of this, and you just need to blend that. Casual right into your right below your waterline slightly. Like you really got to do this very fast because it might get dries up, you know, and then it will be really not possible to blend it out. Again, I'm going. I'm, again, I'm taking that uh, brush like where it's not in a generous amount, or you can you can just go with it. Just smoke it well so that. It should give you a nice dramatic smoky look. Again, I'm going on to going on with the flat eyeshadow brush and with the same black color from the palette. I'm just blend everything nicely. So just be careful. I'm just telling you this to repeating this thing again and again because it really hurts when the product gets inside your eyes but not to worry even if the product is getting inside your eyes and whatever you need not take worry about just take a earbud any edge of your earbud and just place it right at right at this side of the pad close your eyes and just move so whatever the extras there it gets inside your eyes and come out on this so this is also a key so like i'm again going to same blend that same black color on my other eyes as well so as we are done with doing the bottom of our eyes now i'm going to take an angle brush and uh, i'm just going to dive in into the same maybelline gel liner and i'm just going to quickly give a nice wink to my well i'm not that you know um i'm for me the normal brush is convenient for lining my uh, what say eyelids so i'm just going to take this brush and you can take any brush according to your convenience i'm just going to take this brush and quickly line and create a nice wink to my eyes <laughs> Finishing off with the wing and the liner, you can see that it's like in a wing, very clean and in you know exact wings. You have to take care of this a lot. While that is the reason we place the tape so that you should actually go along with this eyeshadow, what we do within the eyelids and within the crease line and the lids. So this is the thing. Now, just to like finish off, I'm again going to take the black same flat brush and again going to take the black color in the bag from palette and I'm just going to finish off with this creating a nice arc wheel like just this is just a finishing and detailing and giving your eye color a nice figure like 
maybe you can just detail it out finish it out with accordingly whatever you want So there you go. Of eyebrows, I have already did it off camera because it, as you guys know, I have told it in my previous video that it really takes ages for me to do that. So for face, now I'm just going to quickly contour it. I'm going to just go, I'm going to take this Savannah color palette. As you can see this, I'm going to take just a round brush and really this brown shade for contouring my face here i'm using a powder contour <laughs> silver highlighter in this palette so I'm just going to take a fan brush and quickly highlight everything in my cheeks make sure this is a very dramatic look You're, you really need to highlight good this look you can carry accordingly like for your college for your office, for your meetings, for your functions, for your party functions. It's just accordingly you have to put eyeliner if you're carrying, uh, I'm sorry, highlighter. I'm saying. So you have to put this highlighter accordingly if you're really going on in a great, good function. Like you really have that glossy look, as you can see. Or else, just stop brush of how I can do for the entire working days so there you go and now for blush I am going to take from Colossians as you can see this oh sorry in the shade natural majestic world no Sorry, shade I, I actually blusher, it's like a blusher, it's like I'm not identifying with the shade, but yeah, it's from a color sense. And I'm just going to quickly pop it on the cheeks and nicely blend it with my contour. There you go, and now Moving on to mascara, I actually uh, forgot this. I'm going to take the falsies push up from Maybelline. As you can see this. I'm just going to quickly coat my lashes on. Where's the mirror lost? Yeah, there you go. If you want to put falsies, you can definitely put, but on the daily occasion, like on the daily basis, if you're working or, you know, working or office going girl it's not possible for you to really put the falsies all day around and like every day to put on the falsies then again removing it so mascara is the best thing i have like previously recommended you to go for a waterproof mascara because it really doesn't take much to come out but if it's a waterproof mascara it really 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 take your ass off to take to get out from your lashes so as i have done with my uh, highlighter and uh, putting my lashes like i have used this lip color from Nika in the shade 05 Tender Rose it says like I have recently purchased this shade like not recently I have used it twice or twice but I was I'm so in love with this shade that I was using it to use in a video yeah as you can see it's a nice pop kind of a look okay 
then now moving on to uh, highlighter again i'm taking this silver highlighter which i have used all over my face and I, i'm just going to take a round brush and place it in the inner corners of my eyes so that it really gives me a nice open to my eye hello see i'm going to highlight my brow bones as well So here you go guys, this is the final look I have created. So I'll just go and get changed and, with, and be back. So here I'm back with my final look. I'm just going to set in the entire makeup with my setting mist. I'm just going to fan myself for a second. So guys, this is the final look we have created. And there you go. look please like share and subscribe to my channel please show some love and you can carry this look anywhere you just got to play with your lip colors and your highlighters and your dresses your outfits and your own this is a smoky eye dramatic kind of look you can like glow glam look you can carry it accordingly like if you like it you can make it more darker lighter anything the way you want and yeah see you on the next video